Gary Soto was born and raised in Fresno, California to Mexican-American parents. His father died when Gary was five years old, and Gary had to help the family and worked as a farm worker in the San Joaquin Valley. Because of this, he was a poor student, but he did enjoy reading, especially poetry. He went to California State University of Fresno and then became the first Mexican-American to earn a Master's of Fine Arts degree at California University, Irvine. Soto started writing poetry after graduating, many of which were biographical or autobiographical about growing up in poor neighborhoods that are predominantly Mexican-American. Soto has said that while his stories may not have always happened, he always tr tries to make his characters' actions believable. In my 8th grade class, we did a unit this September on Buried Onions, a Soto novel from 1997. The students were very interested in the book, as they were interested in a novel with Hispanic characters. I teach in a low-income, highly Hispanic neighborhood, which is very similar to the setting of the book. Soto sprinkles in Spanish words throughout the book. There are both negative and positive stereotypes of Hispanic characters in the book, but they all feel real. There is one scene where the mother and aunt come over to the main character's house and just start cooking, and many of the students said they had seen us in their houses. One of the activities we did during the book was tied to this, and everyone had to submit a family recipe. We also had a study guide with a few questions after every chapter that was usually the homework for the students that night. We also had students take a map of McKinley Park, the neighborhood where we, the school is, and on it right where they would put certain settings in the story if the story actually took place in this neighborhood. This was good because there was a park in an area on the earth outskirts of this neighborhood where the rich white people live. Our final project was for the students to create a movie poster for the book if it was to be turned into a movie. We left the parameters vague and allowed the students to complete the posters as they felt necessary. Gary Soto's books are a great example of, a, of an authentic Mexican-American author. He writes very true and authentic stories about what it is like to grow up in a poor Hispanic neighborhood and has a good humorous voice that most teenagers enjoy. The only illustrations for this book were at the beginning of the chapters, but some of his other books feature some very good illustrations, especially Too Many Tamales. Gary Soto's writings and successes as an author are a great example for Hispanic students who may have come from a similar background.